Congratulations on the purchase of your Derex E90, the world's best-selling end mill sharpener. Derex makes sharpening simple so that anyone can sharpen end mills easily and accurately. The E90 features an easy-pull air spindle so you sharpen the entire length of the end mill in one smooth motion. Equipped with a resin-bonded CBN grinding wheel, your Derex assures the highest possible finish on steel and cobalt end mills. A diamond wheel is available for sharpening carbide end mills. Thousands of end mills can be sharpened on a single wheel. Utilizing any standard 5C collet, you can sharpen a wide range of end mill sizes, up to 4 inches in flute length and 2 inches in diameter, increasing to 6 inches in flute length for end mills 1 inch in diameter or less. And the Derek sharpens end mills with up to 6 flutes. End mill geometry. End mills are complicated cutting tools with two cutting surfaces, the flutes and the ends. The end is for face cutting or plunge cutting, while the flutes are for side cutting. Derex easily sharpens both. The primary sharpening creates the cutting edge, and the secondary sharpening creates the clearance angle behind the cutting edge. Both the primaries and the secondaries must be sharpened correctly in order for your end mill to work as designed. Derex is especially designed to make sharpening simple and accurate. Stay tuned. The following includes sharpening demonstrations, a tour of the parts that make your Derex work, specific demonstrations for precision sharpening, cleaning and maintenance instructions for peak performance. How to sharpen. We recommend that you learn to sharpen with a two or four flute end mill of at least three eighths inch diameter. Before sharpening, you must attach a compressed air source of at least 90 PSI to the air spindle housing. This floats the air bearing to ensure a smooth uniform sharpening. Before sharpening, you'll also need to set the stylus positions and grinding wheel. We'll show you how to connect the air and set these features later. With setup complete, watch as we sharpen the primary cutting edge on the flutes. We reposition the stylus and sharpen the secondary clearance angle behind the cutting edge. Next, we sharpen the primary cutting edge on the end. Finally, we reposition the spindle and sharpen the secondary clearance angles on the end. That's all there is to sharpening an end mill on your Derex. Tour of Derex. There are three key components to your Derex. The motor sharpening wheel assembly, the stylus, and the air spindle. This is the sharpening wheel. This is the feed knob. This is the clearance lever. And this is the cross feed knob. This is the stylus.
This is the stylus adjustment knob. And this is the clearance knob used to shift between primary and secondary sharpening on the flutes. This is the air spindle. This is the locking dog that locks the spindle in place so you can tighten or loosen the collet. These are the 5C collets included with your purchase. This is the draw tube assembly and this is the slip knob. This is the spindle lever used to raise or lower the air spindle. This is the index pin and index collar. And this is the connection for the spindle's compressed air with an air filter and water trap. This is the on-off switch. And this is the forward reverse switch for the motor. Assembling your Derex. A few simple steps are needed to set up your Derex. First, install the air spindle before you sharpen. Start by connecting compressed air of at least 90 PSI. With the air on, carefully place the air spindle into the sleeve from the front. Then slip the index collar onto the back of the air spindle. Slip the draw tube into the back of the air spindle. Note that the draw tube features a free rotating slip knob making the air spindle easy pull. Ensure the spindle lever is set so that the air spindle is raised to maximum height. Next, Move the wheel to the neutral position. Do so by rotating the cross-feed knob until the solid white line is in line with the grit cover and positioned at zero. With the wheel set in the neutral position, you will need to verify and or set the height of the stylus. Start by inserting the height setting pin in the 3 8 inch 5C collet. In the primary position, slide the stylus toward the height setting pin. Loosen the stylus lock nut and adjust the stylus until the tip touches the bottom of the flat area at the tip of the height setting pin. Tighten the lock nut. Note that if you accidentally grind the stylus at any time, you should immediately reset the stylus height as this setting affects the amount of relief ground onto the end mill. Finally, set the position of the stylus fixture. Release the locking lever and slide the entire stylus fixture so that the stylus is in line with the most outer periphery of the grinding wheel. Your Derex is now set up for sharpening. Detailed demonstrations. Remember that four key areas can be sharpened. The primary cutting edge and the secondary clearance angle of each flute. The primary cutting edge and the secondary clearance angle on the end. Before sharpening, insert into the air spindle the correct 5C collet for your end mill shank diameter. Place the end mill in the collet just before the beginning of the flutes. And set the locking dog. Tighten using the draw tube. Also, ensure that the motor direction is correct. The wheel should turn clockwise to sharpen high-speed steel and cobalt end mills. It should turn counterclockwise to sharpen carbide end mills. Step 1. Set the stylus. As you pull the spindle, the stylus guides the cutting edge following the contour of the flute. With the stylus in the primary position, loosen the size adjustment knob and slide the stylus in or out until it is set in the center of the end mill flute. Each time a new end mill is sharpened, you will position the stylus according to the end mill diameter. Verify the stylus is positioned correctly before sharpening. Do a practice run. When the stylus is set in both the primary and secondary positions, the end mill should flow smoothly over the stylus. If the end mill drags as you pull, you will need to reposition the stylus. Step 2. Sharpen the flutes. Now you are ready to sharpen the primary edges of the flutes. You sharpen the flutes from the shank to the end. Thread the end mill onto the stylus until the shank is as close to the stylus as possible. Turn on the motor and advance the feed knob until the wheel lightly touches the end mill. Then advance one to two graduations more. Note that each increment of the feed knob represents two one thousandths of an inch in movement. Sharpen by slowly pulling the end mill away from the wheel until it comes off the stylus. Push the clearance handle down and thread the next flute on the stylus. Slowly release the clearance handle and again pull the end mill until it comes off the stylus. Repeat this process for each flute. Now, sharpen the secondary clearance angle. You do not always need to sharpen the secondary geometry. 
the primary cutting edge should be one quarter the width of the entire land. Only sharpen the secondary when the primary cutting edge is too wide, more than one half the width of the land. Move the stylus into the secondary position by loosening the knob and rocking the fixture up and back as far as possible. Sharpen the secondary as you did the primary cutting edge. Thread the end mill onto the stylus as close to the shank as possible. Move the feed knob into the secondary until it touches. Then pull until the end mill comes off the stylus. Then push down the clearance handle, reposition, release the handle, and repeat until the secondary clearance angle on all flutes have been sharpened. Step 3. Sharpen the ends. The outer edge of the grinding wheel is the only part of the wheel that is used to sharpen. It is critical that this edge be sharp. See your user manual to learn about dressing the wheel. When sharpening the ends, set the index collar for the number of flutes on your end mill. With the motor off, move the stylus pin out of the path of the wheel. Loosen the index collar, slide forward on the spindle, and rotate until the index pin drops in one of the holes marked with the appropriate number of flutes. For example, two, if your end mill has two flutes. Now, move the spindle forward, leaving the pin engaged, so that the outside corner of the wheel can grind the end of the end mill. Turn the spindle to position the cutting edge so that they are horizontal. To secure this position, tighten the locking knob on the indexing collar. Turn on the motor, and using both the feed and cross-feed knobs, move the wheel toward the end mill until it lightly touches the end. Sharpen the primary angle by using the feed knob to feed the wheel across the end mill with a slow, even motion until the edge of the wheel reaches the center. Reverse the feed knob to move the wheel to the outer edge. Pull up the index pin and rotate the spindle to the next hole marked with the appropriate number of flutes and sharpen that flute end. Sharpen as before and repeat until all flutes have been sharpened. Sharpen the secondary clearance angle only when the primary cutting edge has become too wide. Loosen the spindle knob and move the spindle lever to the right so the spindle is in its lowest position. Sharpen the secondary clearance angles on the end with the same procedure used to sharpen the primary cutting edges. Relief angles on flutes. Changing the relief angles on the flutes is simple. Instead of aligning the stylus in the middle of the outside edge of the wheel, use the cross-feed knob to move the wheel edge. The further to the left you go, the more relief you will get. Move the wheel to the right to reduce the relief. Maintenance and cleaning. Your Derex is a precision tool and should be cleaned regularly to remove dust and grit. Accumulated dust and grit affect the accuracy and effectiveness of your sharpened end mills, and grit can wear and plug the air spindle sleeve. When you clean, use a lint-free cloth to clean the outside of the air spindle. Alcohol can be used to clean the inside of the air spindle. Cleaning the collets with compressed air will ensure the collets are centered in the air spindle. In addition to dust and grit, you will need to periodically dress your grinding wheel. See your manual for more information. At Derex, we want to ensure that you are fully satisfied with your product. Consult your user's guide and our website for additional information and contact numbers. Thank you for buying Derex.